What is going on everyone? Platinum Beast coming at you with yet another video. Today is the day that I make my big reveal for my latest Platinum pickup. If you've been following my channel closely, you know I have been waiting eagerly to get this new Platinum piece of my hand. So without further ado, let's get into it. Okay guys, so I'm super stoked to show you my latest Platinum pickup. And it is a gorgeous piece. But before I do, I wanna give a little backstory. So, if you've been following my channel closely, you know that I posted a video titled Bullion MIA, or Bullion Missing in Action. And basically, I went through a lot of trials and tribulations and a lot of hoops to jump through to finally get this Platinum piece in my hand. But it was completely and totally worth it, and I'm going to explain to you a little bit of why that is. So, first and foremost, I know you all are eager to see what the Platinum piece is, so I'm going to go ahead and showcase it, and then I'm going to talk about it a little bit more. So, without further ado, here we go. And there she is, or he. I suppose it is a he because it is a bull or an ox, but this is what I have been waiting for for what seems like forever. A one ounce platinum lunar ox, year mark 2021. And it is a gorgeous coin indeed. Now I've been waiting on this for quite some time and I've been very eager to get my hands on it because this coin is extremely difficult to find at the current time. In fact, the only place you can find it is the place that I purchased it from, which is Bullion Star. Now, if you watch that video I was discussing about Bullion MIA and how my package was missing, you know that I had to go through a lot of hoops to get this. So first and foremost, I purchased this from Bullion Star and I paid with a wire transfer. Now I paid to their American bank, so my money wasn't sent overseas per se. It was sent to an American bank, so I was pretty much covered there. It, they use Citibank, so I didn't have any worries as far as getting my money back or anything of that nature. But I did have to jump through some hoops. So they sent this coin FedEx, right? And FedEx actually sent it to Hawaii. And then it was sent to Oakland, California. And then it ended up in Memphis. And FedEx ultimately just completely lost the package, which it is very unfortunate that that had to happen. But Bullion Star stood by their sales and they decided to either send me a replacement or a refund. They did give me the option, which was very gracious of them. I decided to go ahead and take the re my chances again and take a replacement coin. And they sent me this and I received it and it is flawless. It is an awesome, awesome piece. So if you're looking for a Platinum Ox, they do still have them in stock on Bullion Star's website. Just know that, you know, it... It's going to maybe take a little bit of time for it to get to you, and there's always the chance FedEx might end up losing your package like they did mine. Now, this is of no fault of Bullion Star. This is completely FedEx's fault. I don't hate on FedEx because I know mistakes do happen and things of this nature happen, but in the end, I ended up getting the bullion that I purchased. Now, one of the other reasons why I decided to go with a replacement rather than a refund is by the time they offered a refund, spot price had increased so much that if I took the refund, I would not be able to get anything nicer than this. And chances are I would have to just go with a generic ounce of platinum from some other dealer. And I'd rather have this, honestly. Now, if you take a look at their website and you see what this coin is listed for, it is listed for substantially more than I paid for it. I will showcase on the screen what they have it listed for at the recording of this video. And I will also showcase what I paid for it as far as when I purchased the coin. But nonetheless, guys, I'm super stoked to have this in my stack. You know that I have the mouse and now I have the ox. I just need to get that tiger. And funny enough, they are sold out of the tiger at Bullion Star, but for some odd reason, they still have the ox. It's very peculiar indeed, seeing as though the ox is much more harder to come by. Perhaps people in Singapore, where Bullion Star is based, um, perhaps they already just have the tiger and they don't need, or perhaps they already have the ox, excuse me, and they don't need it, so Bullion Star is just stuck with their inventory until people buy it. 
But that's good news for us Americans and people from other parts of the world, I presume, as they ship, I believe, worldwide, or at least to most uh, Western countries. And so because of that, you have the chance still to get your hands on this ox. Now, I want to mention one of my Instagram followers. I don't know if he has a YouTube channel, but I'm going to showcase him on the screen. Basically, he sent this link to me to help me find and secure this ox because he knew that it was a coin that I was searching for for a while and was unable to find anywhere online. He found it at Bullion Star, and so mad props to him for letting me know where exactly I could find this gorgeous piece. But that is it, guys. We added another ounce of platinum to the overall platinum stack, and I am super stoked to have this in my stack. I know pickups have been kind of sparse and kind of few and far between, a lot of things been going on lately, and I've had to deal with a lot of stuff. I'm not really going to get into it on here, but I'm still super stoked to show you all this and tell you all that you can still get the Ox if you need it for your Platinum Lunar Series. Most individuals know that this is the first year of the, not first year per se, but first round of Platinum Lunars from the Perth Mint, where the Perth Mint decided to add Platinum into the available offerings. This is the Lunar Series 3. The Lunar Series 1 and 2 do not have any Platinum coins in their offerings, and so because this is the first round for Platinum, I highly suggest this coin and this series to all of my viewers because I believe that this is going to be a very hot commodity later on in the future. If you take a look right now, the Lunar Mouse is pretty much impossible to find anywhere online and the Lunar Ox is only able to be found at one specific dealer from the country of Singapore. And that will only last so long, I presume, until you won't be able to find this coin anywhere online at all. So definitely check out the Perth Lunar series. So far, they have the Mouse, the Ox, and now the Tiger released. I believe, I can't remember exactly how many coins are in the series, but I presume they're going to make them all in Platinum. And a pro bonus tip about this coin series is most people know that the queen is on the back of many, many different coins across the world. But we also know the queen is aging over time. And because of that, we don't know if she will last the entire Lunar Series. So this could be also an opportunity to buy into a coin series where the reverse actually changes mid-series, which could provide collectability later on in the future. So... Just something to think about and something to ponder on. It definitely is interesting nonetheless, and I highly suggest the Perth Mint Lunar Series, especially in Platinum, if you are a Platinum stacker such as myself. But yeah, guys, that's what I have for you today. Epic pickup, epic addition to the Platinum stack. Be sure to hit the like button on your way out. Hit that subscribe button so you can stay up to date future updates on the Platinum Beast channel. Be sure to leave a comment in the comment section down below letting me know your thoughts and opinion on the Platinum Lunar Series as well as the Silver and Gold. If you stack those, let me know that as well. What are your thoughts on it? I have become a huge fan of this series and I love these coins. Absolutely phenomenal. So with all that being said, I appreciate everyone for stopping by and until next time, we'll see y'all.